This is a 2001 Acra. We're going to demonstrate how the airbag light works in the instrument cluster. I turn the key on, notice the red SRS light is the main airbag light you're going to watch for code. That light went out, meaning there's no codes in this vehicle. I'm going to turn the key off, we'll cycle it again so you can watch. Notice that the bottom right side is the side airbag light. So you have the side airbag goes off if there's no codes and you have the main light that goes off if there aren't any codes. This vehicle is ready to go ahead you can start it. But you don't need to start it every time. Okay, now we're going to demonstrate how if we put a code in there, we're going to disconnect something, how the airbag light will respond if you have a code in your vehicle and how to read the code. This is a large blow up of the data link connector under the dash. Notice the four and the nine pin holes are marked. You're going to need to put a paper clip or a jumper wire, which is what we use to make this contact this before you turn the key on. Also notice the shape of this connector when you're under your dash. Make sure your picture aligns with the connector with the key and the triangular shape of the connector. You may have to rotate this 180 degrees in your vehicle to get it where it looks the same so you know which holes you're plugged into. If you connect to the wrong ones, you're going to blow the fuse for your engine and your car's not going to start. You have to replace the engine fuse. But connect the 9 and the 4 and then turn the key to the on position to make the airbag light flash. The little white loop wire you see down here is the, um, the jumper wire we're using the jumper, the 9 and 4 pin on this data link connector. This vehicle has it on the right side of the floor under the driver's side dash. Some of these are on the left side, but that's where this one's located. So the 9 and 4 are now jumpered so the airbag light would flash the code. Okay, now here's what the flash code is going to look like. Notice the red SRS light, as you did earlier, it went off. This time it's going to go off and come back and start flashing. There it went off. There's one long flash, one short flash, pause, one long flash, one short flash. It just keeps repeating. One long flash, one short flash. You have one code in this vehicle, which is the only problem that it has right now. This is the driver's side airbag that's not communicating to the airbag computer. If your vehicle has this type of a code, you would tell us you have a one long and one short flash. A one one code is what it would look up as. Other codes would be maybe six flashes that are long and then two that are short. That would be a six two flash. Now we'll shut it off and reconnect everything to reset the light back to no codes. Okay, now we've reconnected the airbag. Watch for the airbag light. If there's no codes present, the light should go off as it did before. The light went off. It's staying off. You just watch it momentarily to make sure it doesn't come back on. You can start your vehicle if you like. It shouldn't have any effect. And you're finished. If you need further help on this, contact airbagsystems.com.